Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this tutorial is brought to you by Big Block Books, where we teach you how to create interactive ebooks so you can have some fun with pretty much digital pop up books. Yep, I do own both companies. So, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. The bottom line is uh, we're doing a quick follow up to the last tutorial we did in Pop Coder where we had this little kitten pop up out of our jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin. And what I want to show you now is how we're going to add sound. So if I click on the pumpkin now, he's so cute. Let's try it again. All right. So I want to show you how simple it is to come in here and add in some sound. So let's jump back over to pub coder and I'm going to go to the one that doesn't have sound added to it yet. So in our previous lesson, we actually had brought in uh, all the different assets. There's the cat, there are the paws, they're on a separate layer, background and pumpkin. I'm going to look at the layers here. So if I click on the paws, okay, it's showing me the selection there. There's a pumpkin front. Here's the selection. Now we want to use the pumpkin front because that's where we have all of our action happening. So I'll come over to the interactive tab. And so on the pumpkin front, that's what we have selected. We have move object, which moves our cat. We have show object, which is showing the pause. We have wait. So it waits 1.5 seconds, hides the object of the paws, and then it moves the cat. What we want to do is add in another action to give it a sound. So I'll simply come over here to add new action. And right down here, there's audio. I can go to play audio file. Now down at the bottom, it's asking me to select the audio. So I can go down here and I'm going to import the audio from disk. Now what I'm looking for is the kitten meow. And it's not very large, it's one, it's 15K. Now me personally, and I'll do this in another lesson, I would probably see if I can get that even smaller. And the idea is not to get something so small that it sounds a mess. You want it to get it as small as possible and still have it sound good because that way your book's not going to be that heavy as far as the file size is concerned. All right, so I'll click on open. So that's there. And the problem is if I play this right now, if you look, we have the audio file right down there at the end. So if you click on this and click to play, So we never hear the cat until the very end. So let's fix that. So here I'll click the audio file and move this up. I want to have this pretty much as soon as it moves up, shows the pause, we'll play the audio file then. Okay. Now here's the fun part. I also want to make sure right down here, it says wait for completion, meaning that it'll wait till it gets to the end of that sound to go ahead and do the wait. So this means it's going to be extra long. So I'm going to turn that off. So I don't want it to wait for completion. All right. And let's see if we can try it now. All right. That works a lot better. Okay, and let's jump back here. We can try one other spot. Go to the interactivity. What if it happens right before he drops down, right after the 1.5 seconds? So I move the sound here. And again, wait for completion is not on, it's off. So we'll preview. I'm not sure which one I like better, but 
I don't know, maybe the choice is up to you. Figure out how you would actually do that, where the sound is going to come in. Uh, do you want to have it at the beginning? Do you even want to have maybe if someone waits too long to click on the pumpkin, are you going to hear a meow coming from the inside? Do you even want to add in maybe a little talk balloon that appears right when he says meow? That would be kind of cool. So the idea you have to think about is how would this be if this were, let's say, a traditional pop-up book? How would you set up the different pieces? And think about how you're going to make something a little more interactive instead of just point and click. All right. So if you haven't already, be sure to sign up for our free pub coder class. And also, if you have signed up for that, we have our brand new pub coder masterclass coming up. And that's all about creating children's ebooks and apps. And you can go to TonyTeach.com slash P-U-B-M-S-T-R, because right now we are running a pre-sale special where you can get the title for $70 off, and that's only for a limited time. So go and check that out. Last but not least, if you like this tutorial, please be sure to like and subscribe and go ahead and share this with your friends, especially those people who are into kid literature or writing children's books. And they don't have to be digital, even if they're traditional. I would love to get their opinions on this. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and BigBlockBooks.com. Remember, make art, not excuses. So go make something. Have a good one.